today I'm explaining why you should not go into Aldi planning to buy a bottle of milk and come out buying a solar and battery package instead. Unlike a lot of their other stuff, which I do buy, fresh food, for example, nuts or hummus, Aldi battery and solar deal is not a good value for money product. And I don't think that it's going to be judged to be quality in the long run. This is one supermarket deal you should definitely skip. Let's dive into exactly why. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. What Aldi is offering is two packages available in selected metro areas across New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, and the ACT. So basically the mainland, eastern states, and territory. Package one is $6,999 and gives you a 10 kilowatt hour battery slightly less, less usable and 15 440 watt panels for 6.6 .6 kilowatts hours of solar panels in total with a roughly five kilowatt hybrid inverter which is pretty small i'll get back to that later package two is a 20 kilowatt hour battery slightly less usable same solar panel amount 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours and same battery inverter. This one is even less valued than the first package because having a small inverter is a problem, which I'll explain in more detail in a future video. Basically, it's like having a big water tank with a small pipe to get water in and out of the tank. Anyway, you might think, well, this Aldi solar product sounds pretty good and battery as well why shouldn't i go for them they're a trusted brand well there's a problem you're not actually buying this battery and solar package from aldi despite the prominent aldi solar branding you're actually contracting with a company called tempo aldi is basically taking a sales commission for referring customers to tempo when things go wrong and my guess is because this is a pretty no brand kind of hardware collection that they're selling. It probably will go wrong more likely than a, a good quality product from Big Energy or Anchor or SunGrow or Tesla or Fronius, etc. Yeah, it, it's not quality like an Aldi bottle of milk or a block of cheese or, you know, a pack of dishwasher tablets. Those are pretty good. I use the Aldi dishwasher tablets. Now, there are a couple of hidden costs, kind of hidden. They're advertised in very small print. If you need to have fire resistant panels put behind the batteries, because the batteries are going to be up against a wall where there's a habitable room in the other side and the wall isn't fireproof, you have to add another $385. If you have a quite tall house, say a townhouse or a double story of any kind or triple story, you're going to have to have pay at least $275 extra. Also, if you need a smart meter upgrade because you still have the really old spinning wheel electricity meter, that will also cost you more. Uh, Aldi Solar's contractor Tempo won't be able to do that. That'll have to be done by your electricity retailer. Some of them will give you a smart meter for free and some of them will charge you potentially a couple hundred bucks. Other work, as determined by the Tempo Solar kind of company assessor, could be required, such as extra wiring length. That will all blow out the cost. So your 6999 system could become seven and a half grand or eight grand or nine grand if you need to get work done on your power board to modernize it, for example, or have a really long cable run. Now, while a five-ish kilowatt inverter can handle 6.6 .6 kilowatts of solar panels it's limited to how fast it can charge your battery so on the smaller package it would take two hours to fill the battery from your solar assuming you had a full five kilowatts being generated and on the larger battery it would take at least four hours now realistically the solar panels on offer in this package i think are too little most people are better off getting 10 or 12 or 13 kilowatt hours of solar panels minimum and filling the roof because in summer you'll generate more than you need 
for a while until you electrify your house and then you'll probably use all of that but in winter when the sun is on a lower angle your solar panels are going to generate less energy for you so 6.6 .6 kilowatts of panels might only generate maybe three kilowatts hours of energy per hour whereas a double the size of that could generate six kilowatts hours of energy per hour a big difference which means the difference between spending a lot of money on grid electricity or almost none now one of the big problems with this aldi solar offer is basically no name cheese there's a pretty low risk maybe it won't have that much flavor but it's cheaper you'll survive it'll be fine but no name hardware for solar and batteries from providers that I've never heard of before. And this is what I do for a living, advising people about electric cars, homes, batteries, and solar. I've never heard of the products that they're selling before sold by anyone else. I have low confidence in them being quality and lasting for 10 to 20 years because that's how long a good solar and battery setup should last for. Looking at the details of the warranties, I'm not super enthused by their, what they offer you. Not good. Now, another thing, Aldi claims that there are lots of savings on offer from this Aldi solar and battery package, but the savings are estimates. They're based on northeast facing panels. Your panels might be facing in some other direction altogether. The estimates are based on uh, installation in Sydney. Uh, yours may be in Queensland and therefore overperform compared to the estimates or your estimate, your installation might be in uh, Victoria, in which case it would be well below the estimates. I think they should have given estimates for every state that they operate in. Now, another reason why I think that this offer is not a good idea is because it's kind of like going to a clothing shop and there's only two sizes, small and large. But what if you're medium? What if you're extra large? Yeah. So a good solar and battery installer will come to your house, look at your power board, look at your wiring, look at where the best place to install your battery is, look at your roof, look at where the best place to install solar panels is, how many panels can fit, what's the best location, and then tell you exactly how many panels they suggest. They're not going to suggest a fixed number of panels because your roof might not have enough space for the amount of panels that Aldi Solar sells. So what happens then? You're paying for panels that can't be put on there? You're paying extra? Or maybe there's double the room and you're only filling half the space with kind of unknown products. Hmm doesn't make sense and tempo as well i know a lot of big solar installers and i've never heard of them so can you rely on them being around in five or ten years can you rely on their app working in five or ten years i don't know maybe maybe they'd be fine what you should do instead is buy quality first time around don't have to rip system off your roof in a couple of years because the hardware is underperforming, the service might not be that good. Choose an established solar installer with a proven track record. Select quality equipment brands like Fronius, Solar Edge, Anchor, iStore, Tesla, big ones that have been around for a long time, that are proven in quality and you have no problems. A sun grow is another one. Yeah, and get a system, a solar and battery system designed specifically for your home your best roof aspect where it's safest and coolest in your house to install a battery solar and battery systems should last like i said at least 10 years like probably 15 to 20 years ideally saving a few thousand now just because aldi's put their badge on it could cost you a lot more in time frustration poor performance reliability probably not that great software in the long run and potentially having to early replace it. So the bottom line is this is not really an Aldi product. Unlike cheap nuts or cheese or hummus or socks 
all of which I buy from Aldi, all of which are good. Aldi is just lending its name to somewhat no name, unknown quality, probably not that good battery and solar hardware. Make a decent investment, choose something else. Give this a miss and choose a decent solar installer who will come to your house and give you a custom system design that suits you. And you'll have peace of mind. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.